I don't think that distance learning is going to go away. We don't have to worry as much about what's coming because we have this asset, this network in place. It's, it's amazing how in times when you really need a partner and they come through. Murray City School District is in a suburb of Salt Lake City. It's a small inner city school district, about 6,000 students. And it's exciting to be here today to tell you a little bit about the story of LTE and LTE not just in Murray City School District, but what we're doing throughout the state of Utah. And, and Murray's very different. Murray has a municipal fiber optic network. So we had multiple providers, but yet there were still barriers in certain parts and certain places to internet access. You know, we had been looking and talking for a few years about how we could provide digital access for our students. And we were actually going to do a trial run of sending all of our Chromebooks home and seeing how we could do some online learning because we felt like that was some of the direction that things were headed. And we wanted to see where the, the pros and cons of that would be and where kind of our sticking points are. I can tell you that in April of 2019, the only real legitimate devices we could buy to receive this were buy cells. And we worked with our reseller to get the indoor Cat4 modems. And we've been really pleased with the fact that we can do port forwarding. We can do some of the advanced networking things on those buy cells receivers that, that we were able to do with other higher end routers and things like that. So that's been a great experience with us. And, and in that way, we've been engaged with buy cells from the start. Little did we know that on March 20th of 2020, um, we would be the first school district in Utah that would close down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And with that, we executed and sent home all of our Chromebooks, um, but we found that there were some issues with connectivity. And so through the great work of Jason Aaron and his team, and also working with uh, UETN and other partners, they looked at a way that we could provide this connectivity to our students. Um, started out with social economically impacted students in some of our high density housing here in the city. And from there we realized it really is an equity issue and it doesn't matter where they fall on the socioeconomic scale, all of our students need to have access. It really should be something that's just guaranteed to high quality internet access. Even the homes where they have it, but they may have five or six people in the home using it. A couple of students, parents who are working from home, and so this really was our opportunity to look at how to build that out. So no matter where our students live, no matter what income category they fall into or what their situation is, they could open up their Chromebook and connect automatically to our district network. And so it really was about making sure all of our students had access to the tools that they needed for a high quality education, no matter what their background. We, we started looking to see if we could do a better job at our Murray High School. The implementation we'd had of LT since 2019 to see if we could get off the campus and the higher powered radios were starting to come. And, and what we realized was that we needed a vendor that was in for the long haul. We needed an experienced vendor because this, this technology had been publicly available since January of 2020. We're sitting in a September, October timeframe. I think the amazing thing as we got to know you and as we became more engaged with buy cells, the it's actually called Wasatch School District there on the Wasatch, the backside, actually beat us to the punch. They started turning up radios and learning how to configure them with the buy sales technology. And that was great because in December, when we had to make a decision and find another vendor, it, it made perfect sense for us to look to buy sales. What we want to do, and what the, what the goal of it is, is to provide internet connectivity for students that don't have it at their house. So we started working with UETN and uh, we started looking at where we could put radios on our rooftops. 
what would work best for, you know, where could we get the most coverage? All of that traffic comes back to our local district. So it's, it's part of our local content filtering policies and we have the ability to see these devices and know what's connected up. So it really gives us more visibility in what the students are doing, if they're having issues with things, and we can better secure and protect the kids as far as content filtering goes. The, the great thing with the LT technology is that we don't have to just have one flavor, one end-to-end -end solution from one vendor. We're able to involve an entire community of vendors with private LTE. And it is, a, it is written to a standard. And for us, that was important because different vendors have different business cases and different business challenges. And last fall, when we were trying to meet all the demands of the CARES grants and the timelines of the CARES grant, we were a little bit more limited because there were so many emerging vendors that just didn't have their devices ready. BuySells was there. BuySells was an experienced vendor and BuySells was able to quickly fulfill our orders and quickly get technology to us. I, I talked to other radio vendors and there were things like 12 week lead times, fiber optic interconnections, all kinds of, of interesting design things that there were barriers. And, and with the help of, of Wasatch District and also just having our electrician here double check things, we were able to very quickly understand how to bring those up. And so during the pandemic, this was a technology that we were able to quickly and effectively bring up. The buy sales equipment really was instrumental because we were able to order them, get them here, get them installed and hung up so that that was just one more piece that we needed to, to kind of check off so that we could provide this really important connectivity to our students. It doesn't require $10 million to get, you know, to set up a site with buy sales. It's easily obtainable. It's super easy to configure. We found it with our initial training to be way more simple than we thought it would be. We did have UETN handling the core side of it, and they focused their expertise on setting up the core. We focused our efforts on setting up our sites and getting our radios. With their core package, they provided a local gateway VM that we have installed on our VMware infrastructure that brings all that traffic, all that LT traffic back to our local network, which is great for a couple of reasons. I mean, obviously for having our student data, our student traffic all coming through here, it also provides for roaming options. If a student takes one of our LTE devices to Murray School District and they connect up there, their, their traffic all comes back here. So it's, it's secure, it's great. Um, and the price point, I mean, you look, at, you, know, you look at any other product and you're looking at three to five times the cost. Um, we really like the 436Q because it has dual carrier built into it. So we can cover you know, 180 degrees with one radio. It was the Class B CBSD device that works outdoors. It had the higher power and it had the range to get out into our neighborhoods enough to be effective from our school buildings. And we've been very pleased with that platform. It, it provides just the right amount of power and it does provide us the distances we need. And with, with about 25 of those, we were able to cover our district possibilities are endless. I really think that as we continue to look at new technologies and new things that are emerging, we'll be able to really expand this out. Um, it's great that it was instituted here in Murray City School District. And again, a huge thanks to Jason Ayer, our technology coordinator, uh, because not only has this benefited the students in Murray District, it is now benefiting students across Utah and across the nation, because it really is something that hadn't been done before. And what a breakthrough to say, we can do this, it is possible. Look what's been done here in a small district within a large city. It can be replicated in across all education systems, which is fantastic. Our future plans for our LTE network is to be able to just cover more area, cover more, cover more neighborhoods, get as, you know, get as many options available for the students in that particular part of town to have connectivity. We're excited to see not just CPE, but some of the EUD type devices that BuySells has coming out as well. Uh, we, we didn't want to put a large ongoing cost burden of the SaaS on the client equipment, but we've been very pleased to see BuySells listen to us to make equipment that, that we can put on that's gonna be a little bit less expensive to run in the long term as well. And we appreciate the listening and the engagement and the relationship we have that way. to be Lady, the 
satisfied.